today, a reason to love this season. Gets cold outside, it's a great excuse to cozy up inside with a hot cup of tea and a great book. So today, a short list of great reads from the perfect guide. That's right. Carol Barrowman is an English professor at Alverno College, and she's also a reviewer for the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. She's here now with her top recommendations for books to curl up with. On I'm these trying cold to days. bite my cheeks so I don't laugh anymore. <laughs> then, <laughs> okay, I got to. Not I, that it, it's not funny. But. I know we have <laughs> limited time, but is that hilarious? And she looks at like a picture of the so ba hilarious. baby. <laughs> but what I love is then, then later she shows this lovely maternal moment that I she's know. been having with her boyfriend. Well, right? Um, it's because right? he's older. He's not like a, a newborn. So you should just get, alien. Yeah, so she could get, she could give the newborn to us, and we would take care <laughs> right. of it. Right, and like you're ten, ten months, months, I think they're all adorable. And but then we give it that, back at about a year, right? right. Ten you months. Know, I know. I mean, the pumpkin, parenting, the pumpkin carving she does. I don't even do. I've never done with my own kids. I don't kids. even like cats, and I like it. Well, yeah. young kids are fun, you know. Like younger kids are fun. I, I like the mentality of a fifth grader. So anything I can do with a young child is hilarious and fun to me. But a little baby you can't do that. You could just rent stuff. yourself out for parents when their kids at middle school are getting to be. Obnoxious, right? Exactly. Right. Give them to her. There we go. Come on in. Yeah. The, the artistic ability no, in that pumpkin, <laughs> unbelievable. All right. So, all right. Great to see you. Nice to see you. Guys. Uh, this is this is great because this is a time of year. Yeah. It's sort of okay to give yourself permission to curl up with. Well, the book. I think people are not yeah. outside much. You know, they're inside, avoiding all the leaves and everything yeah. else, so you can get a good book. And this first book is um, wonderful. It's right up there right now. It's one of my top books this year. Oh wow! And it's about um, sort of this romantic encounter that separates two families. So over the course of about 50 years, we follow the family, but then one it, towards the beginning. I think it's the grandchild of one of the, ki the, the one of those two families um, falls in love with a best-selling author who decides to take all the drama from that romantic encounter in the past and the family and write a best-selling book about ooh. it. I mean, so how would called? you feel if you're if somebody took your life and decided, ooh, I'm going to make a novel out of that? Oh, I know, because my kids will say, well, some, we'll have drama at home, and they'll be like, do not talk about that on your show. That's <laughs> <laughs> what my kids say. <laughs> Well, give you parameters. this is to the nth degree. And the thing I really, really liked about Commonwealth by Ann Patchett is mm -hmm. the book, um, is that um, there's a lot of humor in it. Is You know, it's not one of those family sagas where you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I'm not in that family. Right. My family looks awesome by comparison. Yeah. Yeah, not yeah, that like kind of book. It. It's Commonwealth. wonderful. Commonwealth. Okay, next one, Manitou uh, uh, County. Manitou Canyon, Canyon. Um, by uh, William Kent Kruger. He's a Minnesota writer. I just really Ooh. love him. Yes. Ooh. Have you ever been on the Boundary Ooh. Waters? Yes. yes. I used to go there canoeing in the you, summers. That's what this book is about. And there's this love amazing, it. ch it's a thriller, but it's all set in the Boundary Waters. Huh. And there's this amazing scene. Um, set in a canoe. It's like I, I, I was on the couch reading and I felt myself like going like this. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Go, it's, a, go. Go, it's the most exciting thing huh. I've read in ages and it's a canoe chase. Okay. I'm I believe it. I've been chase. in those canoes I, in the boundary waters. Yeah, I don't do nature and I love this book. Okay. It's awesome. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna re I'm gonna recommend that to all my Minnesota friends. Yes, they'll love yeah. it. And he's a okay. great. Uh, everybody in Minnesota loves this. this so that's author. Uh, Manitou Manitou Canyon. Canyon. All right. William Kent Kruger. The next one is The White Mirror mm -hmm. by Elsa Hart. Um, this is only her second novel, so of course I hate her because it's brilliant, right? <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. set in China in the 18th century. I know nothing about China. Mm. I love this. It's kind of a locked room mystery. Only okay. they're all locked in a mountain in the bl in a blizzard in oh. China. So, um, but you learn so much about the culture and the history and a little bit about why Taiwan and um, China and some of the conflicts in that area. I thought it was just fascinating. I highly recommend it. Yeah, our last one, Hold a Scorpion. Hold a Scorpion, um, Melody Johnson Howe. This is a book about an actress, an actor in um, Hollywood, and she has an, uh, does the one thing you're not supposed to do. She falls in love with her, um, one of her co-stars. Uh. It creates all this drama, and one day she's chasing after him, and she witnesses a hit and run. Um, okay. But there's a lot of actually humor in this book. Like the person who, this sounds this is gonna sound terrible, but the p person who gets murdered is wearing a calf can with um, spanks under it. And, <laughs> <laughs> and so the main character's like, not only is this a horrible thing, but who does that? 
It's yeah, so, it's so Hollywood, big comedy. baby. It's, it's, yeah, so it's very <laughs> funny. It's the perfect thing for a Sunday afternoon if you don't want to watch a football game because you'll read it fast. It's wonderful. That yep. reminds me of, like, advice you always get from your mom, like, you know, wear clean <laughs> underwear in case you yes. get in a car accident or whatever. Which makes it even funnier. She's like, yeah. just wear Spanx. Yes, yeah. just wear Spanx. No matter what. No matter what. No matter how what you do. Yeah. Well, you can get a copy of it for yourself if you're caller number seven right now. So call us right now for Hold the Scorpion at 414-799-4444. You can sit and laugh and read it. And, and this is my it. reading copy, so they get my notes in this one, okay. too. Oh, Good. that's awesome. I've heard from a couple of viewers that kind of like to get that. Super Absolutely. cool. Here's where you can find out more about Carol and John's books. It's at BarrelmanBooks.com. Thanks, like Carol. the new logo. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's cool. I like cool. it. Yeah. Way to go. Always Thank great you. to see you. Nice yeah. to see you guys.